Hi there, boys and girls. We are back again, and you have been in school for a few weeks now, and I hope it's been good for you. I have a book here. We're starting a new story today. I brought this along. This is a, a kind of a fish. Sometimes with the kids in Sunday school, uh, we play a game called fishing. Now, I didn't bring my long pole because I don't know how I would use it in here. But what I put on the back of this fish was a, a paper clip. Now, you know, paper clips made out of metal. And on this long pole that we had a line on, and on the bottom of the line I had a magnet. And they would have to hold that pole. Now, it wasn't as easy as this thing. You see, I can put that, that's not a hard one at all. But this string would be like this back and forth and back and forth. So if I try to hold this up here, it gets a little bit more difficult, especially if I'm trying to hold it up here and I've got to bring it straight down, you know, because I might go off to the side. Uh, but it was harder, but they would get it, and, and of course, based on the size of the fish, some of the fish were big and had two paper clips on them, uh, they could be easily caught. Some of the fish were small, and they had a small paper clip. So our story today picks up Little Bear and Grandpa going fishing, and they're having a rough time catching the fish. Not because their fishing pole isn't easy to use, which it is, but it's because of some other critters there named otters. And the little bear thinks they are leave her alone. And that's where we're going to pick up the story today, with the little bear and, and the otters. And uh, here we go. This is the picture on the front of it. This story is called, God Gave Us Love. And we're going to be talking about love. And there's the picture of the otters right there. You know, otters just love to play. They love to slide down mudslides in a pond and then swim around. And they swim on their back and they swim on their stuff. They just are, are funny little creatures. Well, here we are on the beginning of our story. And Little Bear says, Oh, you otters, will you get out of here? You're scaring the fish all the way. I hate otters. Oh, my goodness. My goodness, Little Bear, how can you say that? Is that well, Grandpa says, now, now, little bear, the otters are all right. They they can play here too, just like we can be here and fish. And we should love the otters. We should care about them, not not be angry at them all the time. And little bear says, you know, I don't see their fishing pole. They got long fishing poles there, and and they have a bait here, and they probably got something to eat there, and they're going to be there catching fish, and and. Um, uh, you know, and Grandpa says, Little Bear, we, we won't, it, it doesn't matter if we're getting, after all, the most important is being together. That's half the fun, is doing that. Isn't that, we're here together and we're having fun. And Little Bear says, I guess so. Doesn't sound very enthusiastic, does it, for Little Bear? I don't think she really thinks it's all that great a thing to have those out. And they're having a great time there with it. And Grandpa said, we'll, 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 it's, we'll, we'll fish a little bit. And we'll, we'll catch something. You just hang out. Let me turn the page here. And, say, and there they are fishing again. And the otters are out in the pond. And they're playing around there. And, uh, and, and everybody is okay. And then Little Bear says, You know, Little Cub, God wants us to show the otters love. Uh, that's what it's all about. To show the otters love. And Little Cub thought for a while, I love the otters. I just don't like them sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, do we feel that way? Well, Grandpa said, yeah, that can happen. It can be that way that we, we, we technically love them, but we just don't like them for what they're doing. And that can, that can be true of people. That can be true sometimes of ourselves. I mean, the Bible talks about us loving ourselves because God made us, and he wants us to love ourselves. And, and he says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Okay, so it can be that way. Um, but sometimes people do things that we don't like. Uh, and, and sometimes they can be mean to us. And it's hard to love those people. But God wants us to love them. He even talked about loving your enemies. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do good to them, he said. Uh, if somebody uh, uh, hurts you, uh, forgive them. And that's sometimes hard. That's not always easy. Sometimes we need a little encouragement from uh, our parents or from... Um, uh, other friends that help us to do that because sometimes other people are going through some difficult times too. Can you think of some things that, that would make you 
not like a person? No. Well, one thing would be if they said some nasty things to another person about you. That's called gossip. You know, if, if somebody gossips about you and says, her, that makes it hard. But we have to, the Bible says, we forgive those who, who curse us. And that's, a, that's another big word, but it's basically the same thing as saying people who say bad things about us. And then there are people who take things from us. Now, that doesn't mean we just let them take things. Uh, you know, last week I talked about the pencils, or oh, two weeks ago I talked about the pencils and stuff, and uh, all of that. Um, if somebody takes your pencil, you can't do your work. So you, you can tell the teacher, but you, you don't do it because you want them to hurt. You do it because you want them to do the right thing, and, and that's important. And sometimes we get angry at our brothers or sisters. Uh, maybe they take something of ours and uh, they didn't ask permission, uh, and, and we're angry about that. So we can tell our parents, and uh, we don't have to do it to be mean. We just do it because we think things should be fair. Now, we have to forgive still. You know, you still have to forgive and all of that. So that's what we're going to be looking about. And, and we're going to see more about these otters and, um, and fishing and uh, some other things that happen to Little Bear and how she learns about love. Um, and she has to deal with her little brother and sister too, just like you might have to deal with a little brother or sister. Or maybe you are the little brother or sister, and you think that big brother and big sister aren't being very nice to you. Well, it can happen that way. There's a song that we're going to be singing uh, called It's Love. It's love that makes the world go round. Okay? And it's a good little song. I'll sing it to you, and then we'll sing it together. It's love, it's love, it's love that makes the world go round. It's love, it's love, it's love that makes the world go round. It's love, it's love, it's love that makes the world go round. It's love that makes the world go round. Yeah, it's nothing that's hard to learn. It's the same thing over and over and over again. Okay, we'll try it. It's love, it's love, it's love that makes the world go round. It's love, it's love. It's love that makes the world go round. It's love, it's love, it's love that makes the world go round. It's love that makes the world go round. And we'll learn that verse, uh, we'll repeat it next week, and then we'll repeat another verse that goes with it. And each week as we go through the story, we'll add another verse on. So by the time we're through the story, uh, you could sing a whole concert How about that, okay? But it is love that makes the world go round. And, uh, and God wants us to love one another. All right, we'll pray. And then I'll see you next week. Father, thank you for this day that you've given to us. Thank you for this little story about Little Bear and the otters. And sometimes trying to love people that are hard to love. And sometimes being forgiving. Just as we need to be loved. And we need forgiveness too. And so we thank you for this story as we begin it. And as we sing about it. And as we learn to love. In Jesus' name, amen. See you next week, boys and girls. You have a great week.